Namaste and welcome my friends. I'm so excited to do this little sequence with you. This is one of my little quick hack sequences to immediately fix my posture. You know, during the daytime, you, a lot of us are on our computers, working at desks, and we begin to develop this slouch pattern. Does this little pattern ring a bell to you at all? <laughs> yes, because we're always on our phones. So we're constantly in this flexion and a lot of our back extensors and our neck extensors get really compromised. They get overworked holding the body in flexion. A lot of these muscles aren't doing their job properly. So we really want to reset the back muscles, if you will. Now, probably like you, I also see a chiropractor and he's always complaining to me about how stiff the area is between my shoulder blades. This sequence here is the hack to really begin to soften that stuff up. No amount of massage is going to really fix it. The only way that's gonna really fix it is by rebooting those muscles, getting them to contract properly and contract on demand. Once a muscle is able to contract and contract on demand, it's able to relax. A muscle that isn't relaxed is a muscle that's tight and tight muscles is always a sign of muscle weakness. So let's get our muscles activated and then they'll start to soften and relax. And more importantly, our posture can be maintained. So we're gonna start off in one of my favorite poses, lying down on my stomach. So come and lie down on your stomach, please. All right. So as you come down, you're gonna relax here. And we're gonna just start off focusing more on the upper back. So what I want you to do here, first of all, is bring your hands to your glutes. Your glutes should stay soft the entire time. If your glutes start to engage, that means you're coming up too high. We really wanna focus on engaging the muscles in the upper back. We don't wanna engage our hip flexors, sorry, our hip extensors. So come on up just a little bit, turn to your right, and lift up as high as you can. Now again, if you engage your glutes, you need to come down a bit. So I can come up quite high because I've been doing this for a little while. And then come back down, come up a little bit, turn to the right, and lift up. And then come on down. Come up a little bit, turn to the right, and then come on up a little higher. And then come on down. Come on up a little bit, turn to the right, and come up higher. Now you're really focusing on using the upper back muscles. We're really targeting specific muscles that connect between the shoulder blade and our spine. A couple of those muscles is the spinalis, the semispinalis, thoracus. Turn, lift up a little bit, turn to the right, lift up a little bit more. We're also gonna target the posterior uh, superior serratus. And then come on back down. And then come on up a little bit, turn, come on up a little bit higher. you might notice that those muscles feel really worked right now. There's probably a little bit of an achiness uh, to them. Come on down. Now we're gonna do the other side. So just relax everything for a moment. Okay, just feel everything relaxed. And then come on up a little bit. Again, the hands to the glutes because I want you to make sure that those glutes are relaxed. Turn to your left and lift up as high as you can. Now, be careful that you're not turning your head so much here because you might be turning your head thinking that you're twisting the upper torso, but you're not. So try and keep the head somewhat neutral and then come on back down. Relax, lift up a little bit, turn, and lift up a little bit higher. And relax. Shake your glutes, make sure they're relaxed. Lift up a little bit, turn to the left, and lift up a little bit more. And then come on back down. Lift up a little bit, turn to the left, and lift up a little bit more. And 
and then come on back down. Lift up a little bit, turn to the left, lift up a little bit more. And then come on back down. Last one, lift up a little bit, turn to the left, and then lift up. So we're doing twisting with extension. Now, if you feel really achy and tired, exhale, come on back down. I hope that's a sign or that shows you a sign of how weak your muscles are. So there's a lot of opportunity to start working on strengthening them. If you have back issues, let this be a clue to perhaps why some of those issues might be coming exacerbated. Okay, the next one, we're not gonna do it six times uh, on each side, we're just gonna do it three times because this one is a little challenging. So bring your hands behind your neck, lift up again, again, twist to your right. You're not gonna twist that much. Come up, exhale, and hold the breath out. Lift up and then come on down. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Okay, lift the elbows up. Lift up again. Twist. Now exhale as you come up. And hold it there. And then come on down. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Good, okay. Now, come up just a little bit. Turn, and then exhale, come up as high as you can. And then come on down. Good, just take the hands back, turn the head to the side, take a deep breath in here. Turn the head to the other side. Take a deep breath in. Good, and bring the hands back behind your neck. Lift up a little bit, turn to the left. Exhale all the way and come on up. And come on down. And then exhale all the way. Come up a little, turn to the left and lift up. And come on down. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale deeply. Inhale deeply, lift up a little bit, turn. Exhale all the way, come on up, and hold the breath out. And come on down. This time, bring your hands underneath or on top of each other and bring your forehead to your hands. And just pause here for a moment. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is bring your hands to the sides. You're gonna lift the chest, uh, lift the legs just a little bit, not too much. But I really want you to focus on the chest. Now bring the arms out like at 45 degrees. So this is 90 and this is forward. Whoops. Okay, so from here, bring the hands down beside your waist. Lift the chest, lift the legs a little bit, not so much. I just want you to have a little bit of glute activation. Bring the arms forward at 45 degrees. Now lift up as high as you can and exhale. Squeeze the elbows, bring the elbows level with the shoulders. Inhale, bring the arms forward. Lift up the chest, lift it, lift it, lift it. Exhale, come on down. Oh, hallelujah. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Good. Bring the arms back. Lift everything up. 
And now bring the arms forward, lift up as high as you can. Lift up the chest, lift the manubrium, squeeze the elbows, squeeze them, lift it, lift it, lift it, and down. Oh my God. Are you feeling this empowerment already? <laughs> Let's do it again. Lift the legs, lift the chest. Bring the arms forward, lift up, lift the manubrium, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it, squeeze, squeeze. And now bring the arms forward, lift and down. Oh, that's fantastic. Alrighty, well, we're gonna do one more thing here. Oh, fuck it, let's do it three more times. Alrighty, so let's do it again. Lift the chest, nice. Now bring the arms forward, lift it, lift it, lift it up, lift the arms. Take the thumbs as high as you can to the ceiling. Don't bend the elbows. Now bend the elbows, bring the elbows level with the shoulders, lift it. Lift it, lift the hands, lift everything, and back down. Mm. Good, two more times. Lift up the chest, lift up the chest. Good, bring the arms forward. Now, take the thumbs as high as you can without bending the elbows. And squeeze the arms, squeeze the elbows, squeeze the elbows, lift the chest, and back down. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. And take the arms down beside you, lift the chest. Last one, let's make it count. Lift the legs up, lift everything up, and squeeze the elbows. Lift it, lift it, lift it, and down. Oh. That's just marvelous. Turn over onto your backs. We're going to finish with the glutes here and you might be wondering why the glutes since we're talking about the upper body but what's going on in the glutes if your glutes are not working nothing's going to work so we want to make sure that the glutes are properly engaged what i'd like you to do is to just bring the arms out to the sides have the feet about hip distance apart and lift the glutes up or lift the hips up as high as you can and squeeze the glutes. Lift up a little bit more and come back down. Nice. And lift up again. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the glutes. Even lift your toes off the floor just to anchor more into the heels. You'll feel your glutes activate. Lift the hips up a little higher and then come on down. Shake your glutes out a little bit. Take another breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Lift up the glutes. Lift up the hips. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze them as much as you can. Lift the toes up. Anchor down into the backs of the heels. Now lift up a little bit more. Can you feel them firing up? And exhale down. Nice. And then come on back up. Squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. <laughs> and back down. And we're gonna do it one more time just because it feels so damn good. Okay, lift up one more time. Lift the toes, anchor down in the heels, press up. You can even touch them and feel them. Are they activated? Hello, guys. <laughs> lift the hips up one more time and back down. And your favorite pose, Shavasana. Relax the legs out, the hands a little bit to the sides of the body, palms face up. In this moment, make a little dedication to yourself to always endeavor to take care of your body, take care of your health, take care of your mind, 
create more strength and resilience so that you may go out with the best posture into the world, standing tall and firm and steadfast in the truth of who you are and radiate that inner resplendence to the world. Continue to stay here as long as you like. 